Hi, welcome on Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and what you're seeing right here is made for a chest freezer. And um, you can go to rmwraps.com website, go to uh, the bottom of the website where it says store, and it's a chest freezer, and that's where the link is at. And this is uh, called uh, the Weathered uh, Wood Crate Box Chest Freezer. And every order is customized to fit. So when you're placing the order, I need the width, the height, not including the door, but just the height, and also how deep it is, and um, that's it basically. So this is uh, this is actually the front part, and I always add about a half inch uh, bleed on the sides here and here. So the, the dots indicate the corners of the doors, and also when you're when I'm wrapping it, um, actually you'll you'll get this squeegee right here and a knife leg right here, and um, I'll show you how to use that soon. Uh, on all the prints, like this is the side right here. You can see the quality of this right here. This is actually, so far, it's, it's, we've done it several this, this week, uh, this design right here. So on the backing, we, we, we cut the backing, one inch strips and everything. So again, this is the corner right here and the corner right here. So when you're pulling, when you're installing it, you remove the backing and then kind of line it up. Uh, the vinyl will go around the front and you, what you can do is you can kind of go around the front and go this way and then when you're doing the front this part right here you can use the vinyl going uh, have extra going this way or you can take a knife and cut right down the sides so it's a nice clean tight fit um, people do it differently every time but on this is the top right here. So we cut the top right here. On the long parts, we found out if it's easier, it's easier to, I'll show you real quick, is to cut the vinyl up and down, just what you're seeing right here. So this is the tacking on right here. So basically, you might need two people for this, but when you're installing it, you kind of, you hang it up, or actually what I normally do is I take the backing off uh, down to four or five inches, pinch it, and then there's like a little tack mark right here. And, um, and then you tack it on, and then you kind of reposition it, make sure that the corners go right here. So this actually, this part right here goes into the, the freezer door uh, part, the body part. And um, so, so when you're installing it, I, this is the reason why I made these, uh, these squeegees so you can follow the arrows. So this strips right about here, okay? So once you have it lined up and everything, you grab the back of the strip and you pull it off, put your finger down like this, so it's kind of tacked on. Next thing you do is you pull the, this backing part right off, maybe about four or five inches, and, and then have it lift up a little bit. Then you kind of follow the arrows, what you're seeing right here. You're following the arrows when you're installing it. And that's the proper way to install it because at a 33 or three degree angle. So it forces the air bubbles down and out. So that's the reason why I built this squeegee and everything. Uh, other than that, um, so you get the, the front, two sides and the top. The top's actually being printed out right now as you can see right over there. And, um, but yeah. Definitely check out the, the website, rmreps.com website. If you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. You can always call me, 208-696-1180. Um, check out the website, rmreps.com website. And, and if you don't, if you can, we always see, also add things on here right here. So if it's, uh, this is the front part, if you want your logo on here or your, your name on here, we can put that on there. Uh, everything's customized. So I just want to show you the quality of this right here. But stay tuned, I got more prints coming your way. And this is on air release, machine vinyl. All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> Thank you and have a good day and uh, see you next video.